You want to launch an online membership as quickly as possible. We have the roadmap to help you do it. Hey, I'm Daniel, the resident video creator here at Uscreen. We make videos focused entirely on helping creators learn, grow, and earn a living in the creator economy. Once you decide to create a membership, it might feel like there is a lot standing between where you are now and your first paying members. But I've got a secret to share. There's a way to start earning from your membership while you build it. To do that, we'll be borrowing a concept that's been circulating in the startup space for a while now that's known as building in public. Building in public is the best way to create a membership that you and your community love. Let's get into why that is and how to do it the right way. Building in public is the practice of openly documenting and sharing the progress of a project or business from idea to launch and beyond. It works for a couple key reasons and the first one is called the IKEA effect. When you build in public, it gives future members the opportunity to provide feedback and feel like they've played a part in creating the membership experience. This leads to a cognitive bias where people put a higher value on something that they've built or assembled themselves compared to something that's already built. This bias can happen with anything from furniture to memberships. The reason behind the effect is that when we invest our time and effort into building something, we feel a sense of ownership and accomplishment. In the case of your membership, the feeling of ownership creates an increased level of emotional attachment that encourages people to be more active in your community and stick around for longer. As long as your members feel like they've contributed in some way to the growth of your membership, you'll see the IKEA effect in action. We'll dig into how to make sure that happens in just a minute. But first, I want to make it clear that retention is not the only benefit of letting your members in on the building process. Their feedback can be insanely valuable to creating the best membership possible. When you're building a membership, it's easy to get to a point where you have a hard time looking at the product you've created objectively. Getting into the weeds of content organization and sales funnels is incredibly important, but the details can act like blinders, keeping you from looking at the bigger picture. External feedback from actual customers is a way to take that metaphorical step back and get a better idea of what's working and what isn't. Getting that feedback early can save you a lot of time and resources. As one successful Uscreen customer told us, it's easier to change directions when you're 30 videos in versus when you're 100 videos in. Keeping that in mind, I wanna walk you through a simple four-step process to build your membership in public the right way. Step one is to tell your audience what you're planning and invite them along for the ride, even if your plan is just that. A plan. This announcement could be YouTube, it could be email, maybe you're big with Instagram. Use whatever communication channel has your biggest fans. The response to that announcement can have some great insight into what your fans really want to see from you in a membership. Watch the comments, see what questions they're asking, and incorporate what you learn into the blueprint for your membership. After sharing your idea, step two is to build a minimum viable product or MVP. Your MVP will be a version of your membership that has just enough features to satisfy early customers and there are three key features your MVP needs. It has to have enough value that people are willing to use it or buy it initially. It demonstrates enough future benefit to retain early adopters and it provides a feedback loop to guide future development. For a membership, this could look like a landing page, one basic membership plan, a private community page, and just enough content in your catalog to retain those members until you add more. This MVP version allows you to test the core concept of your membership and gather valuable feedback from early customers for investing more time and more money into development. I'd encourage you to keep sharing updates and behind the scenes looks with your audience while you create this MVP. That way they'll be excited and ready to join you in step three where your membership goes for its first test drive. In this stage, you'll invite your audience to join your membership. It's best practice to set clear expectations here that the membership will continue to grow and change and that you want their feedback. It might feel weird to open the doors to an unfinished membership site, but remember that your fans are invested in you. Building a membership together is just another way to foster even more of a connection. Feedback is the most important part of stage three. So we recommend making sure there are plenty of ways for your members to give it to you. This can look like community polls, sending out surveys, and speaking with members directly. That third option is actually our favorite for both your happiest members and the people who have left or even never completed a free trial. Finding out what people dislike is just as important as knowing what people want more of. Before we get to stage four of building in public, be sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a breakdown of the membership business strategies that you need to know. Stage four is kind of a misnomer because it never really ends. You've shared your journey, created an MVP, 
and gathered feedback. Now is the time to make changes based on that feedback and test new strategies. Some things to test are the copy on your landing page, the length of your free trial, how you can organize your content better, and different ways to offer promotions. Any variable on your membership site can be a test. With every test, you'll learn more about your audience and how to build a membership tailored to their needs and yours. Check out the link on screen right now to see how Uscreen's no-code site builder and content management system makes this system of building in public incredibly easy. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.